Okay, so the first question here is convert 7.5 meters to inches. And we're given a conversion factor of 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So we're going to go through the process, and then when you do question number two yourself, I want you to go through the process and do it in this way. Okay? So what's our first thing we have to figure out? Well, we need to figure out what are we starting with and where are we going, right? So first, the path. Well, these problems, I intentionally made them simple. There's only one number given, 7.5 meters. So that's most likely going to have to be what we're starting with, 7.5 meters. And what are we trying to find? Inches. inches. So we're trying to get to inches. So we identify the start and the end, and then we figure out how do we get from one place to the next. Well, we're given a relationship between inches and centimeters, um, but that's not going to quite span that gap, is it? But usually if there's something given at the end like that, it's a kind of a hint that maybe you should use that. So um, inches, if we, if we found centimeters, we could get to inches using that piece of information there. Can we convert from meters to centimeters? Yes, we can. Okay, that's a matter of knowing the metric prefixes. So now we have our path, meters to centimeters to inches. And then we can write down, start writing our equation. So 7.5 meters, there are two arrows in this equation, so we're going to have two fractions. And then we pretend we're Dora the Explorer, looking for the treasure on the mountain, and we look at our path meters to centimeters to inches and we write that down in our equation meters to centimeters to inches getting the path is critical because that's where you refer to when you're lost who do you go where do you go when you don't know where to go you go to the map map and he comes and tells you meters centimeters inches oh yeah that's what I was doing it's, it's dorky and stupid, and yet you'll remember it. Okay, so now we look at our units, and we want to get rid of all these other units, and so we take the meters, and we want to put them down here and divide. So we're going to divide by meters, so the meters cancel out. We're going to do the same thing with the centimeters, put the centimeters down here, so the centimeters cancel out. That's dimensional analysis. We're taking the units, and they're telling us what to do. So now we got our units figured out, now we put in the numbers. And you don't have to do the first fraction first and the second fraction second. You may look at centimeters to meters and you're like, ah, I don't want to deal with that one yet. Okay, maybe this one will be better. Inches to centimeters. Oh, oh yeah, that's from this one right here. They gave me that one. So one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So one inch equals... 2.54 centimeters. That's not a very good one. Not a very good five. 2.54 centimeters. So what is critical here is that what's on the top, one inch, is equal to what's on the bottom. Really important. The common mistake students make is they'll put the 2.54 on the top. Some students want to go through the whole chemistry class without dividing. So they put all their numbers on the top so they can multiply. Well, you can't do that. Okay, so pay attention to that. Okay, then over here, um, metric conversion. There are different ways to express this. I'm going to show you one way. If you know another way and it works and you get the right answer, you can do that, but I'm not going to confuse the class. So the way I teach this is we look at this expression here and we have meters over meters. And on the top we have a prefix centi. And so then we ask ourselves, what does centi mean? It's on the memorization quiz. Centi means 10 to the minus 2. Okay, so on the top we have centi. We're going to write what it means on the bottom. So it means 10 to the minus 2. So that's all very nice, but when we go to enter that in our calculators, we get a little confused. 
1 times 10 to the minus 2. Oh, now that looks like scientific notation. We learned how to put that into our calculators. So what the metric prefix is, the prefix itself goes on one side, and what it means goes on the other side. Centi is like a nickname for 1 times 10 to the minus 2. So my third son, it, we either call him Tommy Kawagoa or Thomas Kawagoa. Meter is like the last name. Centi is like a nickname. 10 to the minus 2 is the given name. You don't call him Thomas Tommy Kawagoa. It's just weird, right? You don't call people by their given name and their nickname. You pick one or the other. Okay, so I'm probably taking way too long on this one. But it's the first one. So now we use our calculators. You start on the left like you do when you're reading and you go across and you multiply by the top and you divide by the bottom. If it bothers you that there's no number in front of the centimeter, put a one. So get your calculators out. 7.5 divided by, and the way you enter that is one and that EE button, remember EE stands for times 10 to the, so 1 times 10 to the, and then negative 2. And then we divide by, or multi, you know, if you want to multiply by 1, divide by 2.54. And the calculator gives you, um, there's not actually enough room to put it there, 295.275, and it just keeps going. It ran off the page. The unit is inches. So you have more space. Write it all out. Then we have to identify significant figures. Well, let's use red, uh, blue. I don't even know the names of my colors anymore. How many significant figures does the number 7.5 have? Two. This conversion of centimeters to meters, is that exact? Yes, but thank you for answering. It is exact. Okay, these are this this whole exact or non-exact conversion factor is hard to remember. Within the metric system, so centimeters to meters, milli millimeters to kilometers, anything in the metric system is going to be exact. Feet to inches, feet to miles, anything in the English system is going to be exact. Most of the conversion factors between English and metric are not exact, except for this one over here. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. That is also exact. So only when we're actually measuring something, not measuring something exact. Right. And so when you convert from one system to another, You'd have to measure, you know, okay, here's the official meter. Well, I'm going to have to measure that in, in inches or feet or something to determine. So that would be different. The reason that this 2.54 centimeters per inch is exact is because they redefined what the inch was based on the centimeter. And they said it is exactly. All the other, you know, units of centimeters to meter are defined, not measured, and so they are exact. So our answer should have how many significant figures? Two. Okay, so then we get into this issue of how do we round that off? Can we round that off to 30? We can't, right? Because then 30 and 295 this is very different. Put it in scientific notation first and then round it off. So here's the number in scientific notation. I'm going to move the decimal point after the 2, 2.952755906. All that garbage the calculator gave us. How many places did we move the decimal point? Two. two. And then we look at that number, 295. Is that a kind of big number or a little number? It's a big number. You know, if someone if someone gave you two hundred ninety five dollars, would you be kind of jazzed about that? Would you feel positive about that? Yeah. So it has a positive exponent. If someone gave you twenty nine cents, you'd be like, eh, it just, it just doesn't really matter. What can I buy with twenty nine cents? A gumball maybe? So this is a positive number. Inches. Always write your units. 
now if we round this off, we won't get into trouble. So we're going to keep the 2, the 9, the 5. That is the last. Oh, nope. Made a mistake. We're going to keep the 2 and the 9, right? So this is where we're going to stop. We look at the next digit, the 5. We say, okay, that's 5 or greater. We have to round up. So when we round the 9 up to a 10, that bumps the 2 up to a 3. So our final answer is 3.0 times 10 to the 2 inches. And then please, 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 please put a box around that on your answer sheet, okay, on your study guide. That just makes it so much easier for me to figure out what your answer is.